Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with RoboMongo IDE on Windows. So make sure that you have your Mongo service running and you can also run the Mongo. Check your database are visible. Okay. So once you do that, next step is to open the RoboMongo from its directory. So if you have downloaded this from official website, then extract that zip file into a directory. And from here, you can simply click on this executable and then run it. Okay, here you will be asked for making new connection and you can select and click on connect and then it will show you a list of the database available okay so you can pick any of your choice simply pick it up go to collections then check document here you see the view in table format you can go to options default view mode check for tree mode or text mode okay and on the top you will find the command run is to find the content from collection okay and here as you can see you have ID and then a rest of the fields you can edit them by selecting and then right clicking on it edit document okay here you can change the content and click on save and you will immediately find that it is reflected in that particular key and value pair okay you can do this for every data similarly you can also insert new document or you can just view the content without modifying it okay now one more thing is how to delete this by clicking on delete document you'll be able to delete a particular set of document okay and then there is copy value which you can copy here and when you create new document by clicking on insert document you will be able to copy and paste that okay usually if you just click on view document and you copy this and here if you insert and just paste it you may find that if you keep this object ID blank and just change the values here and that will do as well here it will ask you for expected 24 hex digit at 3 5 so this is 3 and 5 here you have to do something about it you can keep it blank but if you have any specific ID number to input, then that is also one good way to add that in a document. So usually when you are doing this with your programming language, you don't need to add because this is auto-generated for you. But you, when you do manually, you may be asked to add that. Okay, now let me discard this so that we can check other options okay then you have your users when you are using MongoDB on computer with multiple users you can add them with users then view users here you don't see any user because I'm the only person using this when you click on add user you can add that user's name password and set read write access for them Okay, then you have custom functions which you can view. No function is here right now, but you can add it. You can write specific JavaScript function that you want to execute. Let's say if you want to go through specific data and print it on console when you run that, then you can write that within here. You can save it with specific name and then click on it okay once you use save then this 
particular functions directory will have one script that you can just double click and execute here so we checked the database we also checked users and then we checked functions so these are some of the typical operation that you can do with Rombo Bongo IDE along with that you can also add multiple connections if you have multiple MongoDB instances running so this RoboMongo ID allow you to do that you can connect to some remote URL where RoboMongo is installed and from there you can access the database as well so if you are unsure of how to handle remote connection all you have to do is go to this icon here then click on new connection this will create new connection just by passing some specific values then you have manage connection where you can manage all those connection which you can access from within RoboMongo ID okay so this was a short introduction to how to use RoboMongo for your database usage so we will take a look at some of the advanced usage and some specific user workflow in future videos.